We need to talk. About what? What happened today at the restaurant? You know what? I wish my heel would have went all the way through your foot. That is a shameful disgrace. I'm starting to believe that you went to hell. You want to hit me? Go ahead, you weak punk! Hit me, huh? You coward! Tanya, I am tired. Tired of what, James? I feel a little bit disappointed. Yeah. Uh, disappointed that sometimes this is what it takes for us as black women to realize our mistakes. Um, sometimes you realize things after the fact, but after the fact, it, it's too late. Um, I think it's an eye opener. Nothing's never enough, no matter what you do, no matter how you work, how you try to make things work out, it's never enough. So at some point you say enough for me, back your grip and get the hell on it. My whole perspective is they really don't know what's good until it's gone. Now the divorce takes a while to recover. You know? Wow, okay. We're not talking about the divorce. It's about the failure. You feel like a failure, not completing something that you started. Yeah, you know what I mean? Especially if there's kids involved, you know? I mean, you know, I need one. I got it from that matter. Yeah. And how was the relationship with the woman? The relationship was tedious. It was, of course, and it was almost like, it was, it was tired. Yeah, it was tired. <laughs> how is it now that you broke up? Is she better? Now, she's not better now. She's partying every call the time, all the time, leaving the baby with me all the time, you know? That you know what you want to do. That man remind me of myself, because I'm divorced. But my ex-wife still lives in the same house. My kids still live in the same house. I pay for all their tuition. I pay for wherever they go. All right? I pay for all that stuff. But the good thing about my ex-wife is that at least she don't stress me out. She understands that and she respects me for that. And that's what those young ladies need to understand, because not every man would, would do what that man do. So you know what? A lot of women that looked at that clip, they said, no man would do that. Even men have said it. No man's going to take care of all the responsibility for the house and the kids. They think it doesn't exist. I do it. And the reason I, example. I, the reason I do it is because I have two daughters. And at the end of the day, I don't want another man taking care of my kids. All right, Those are my kids. And I have no issue of taking care of my own. So people have told me the same thing or said the same thing. Why do you even bother doing it? Why should I be doing it? That's the way it should be. That's the way my mom and father raised me okay, to do the right thing. When I got married, I did not get married to get divorced. But I'm mad enough to know that it wasn't working out and I had to keep it moving. But I shouldn't have my kids suffer because of what I had to do. So you know what? I'm going to continue to keep doing, doing what I have to do. That's me. So in essence, you got tired. I got tired. Real tired. Okay? And you know what? I believe in this. That every person has the right to be happy. I had the right to be happy. She had the right to be happy. She wanted things done a certain way that I did not agree with. And it took me a while, but I finally had to understand that and allow her to be her. But to be her, her and I were not going to be able to work together. So I had to move on because I was tired of the argument every single day when I got home. And you were taking care of the house. I was taking care and of the house. still had to come home and fight. And still had to come home and fight. And the word of the women is don't do it. It's not worth it. You know, it's not worth it because now you're going to lose that man. And you know what? When I left for years, she tried to get me to come back. I couldn't do it. Because it wasn't like she was going to change. So it was better for us and for the kids that we moved on our own separate ways. But I'm still going to take care of what I'm supposed to do. Commend me for that. Don't hate me for it.